Today I'm going to be doing a special review for Spec Ops Global, specifically talking about their customer service. If you'll remember, in November I said that the box was late, uh, and that they gave a 50% discount to the December box, and that they were giving a 50% discount on any individual item. So the December box was 1-5% off, and the uh, individual item was 5-0% off. Well, I went to the store, and I was trying to find something, and there wasn't anything in stock that I was particularly interested in. There were a few things I was looking at, but they weren't in stock. So I emailed Tim, the head of the company, I said, hey, uh, I looked at the store, there's not really anything in stock that I want. Instead of 50% uh, off an individual item, could I get a reduced discount on a past box, specifically the Combat Medic one that they had in September? Well, he wrote back within a couple hours and said, hey, we don't have any more of those full boxes, uh, and we're out of the iron supplement bar and stuff like that. But I, what I'll do is I'll run around and see what we have, and I'll piece together something for you and send it out. And that's this box. So I just want to show you uh, what came in this box. Now, remember, this was a discounted rate uh, for the past boxes, and this was September's. And Tim himself went around to make sure that this happened. So... Inside here we have our card, oh, which I just tore up with my fingers, for Combat Medic. Now everything on this card is actually in this box except for the supplement bar from the Ukraine. So we're going to start with the SWAT-T tourniquet, which is in JRTC's box. Right there, boom, SWAT-T tourniquet. The next thing was the supplement bar, which is out. And then it was the pressure bandage, which is right here. And then it was a new recruit package, starting with visit pad markers, which in the box that they sent out had three, a green, a blue, and a red visit pad marker, which are right here. And those are glow sticks, so you break them open, shake them up, and you can actually stick them on the stuff uh, to see them glow. So the original box sent three, there's that. Then for new recruit, there was also Celox, which is this, it's a, a coagulant. You pour it over something that's a, an extremely heavy bleeding wound or something like that, and this will start it to clot up. So don't use it unless it's an emergency because <laughs> it burns, and don't use it for arterial. You need to do a tourniquet with arterial. Um, moving on. Still in New Recruit was a Steptic Pencil, which is right here, this Hemostop. And this is used for like small nicks and stuff like that. Uh, when I was looking it up specifically, they mentioned shaving. Uh, and using it when you shave and you get those cuts whenever you nick yourself. It's like the face where it's a area that bleeds a lot, but not a severe wound. The next thing was an IDF dressing, which is right here. Israeli dressing. Boom. Then we moved on to the Season Omcom, which had rip shears. As you can see, they are here. One cool thing about this too is it has a, an O2 key so that you can uh, get to oxygen and take that out. It's got the scissors, it's got the quick cutter right there. Pretty heavy duty piece of equipment. This feels really good. Uh, it's definitely a nice thing to have in an emergency kit. The next thing was the Molly Med Pouch, <clears throat> which is right here. Now it doesn't have any uh, strings, or strings, any uh, straps on the back to attach it to Molly, but you just use, um, oh, Blackhawk makes them. Uh, they're little black things that you slide in, and you can weave through that way. I think they're called Quick Strike or something like that. I'll, I'm going to do a review on those a little bit later. But it's not an issue, because you can just weave that through. But there's the Molly Pouch in all of its glory. Uh, CP Gear Tactical was the people who did that. And then, for the Elite package, they sent out a Gerber Multi-Tool. I believe this is the MP60. Uh, MP600. Sorry, it's got the pliers, the wire cutters, folds down, it's got multiple tools, and they lock in place until you flip this down, and then they'll shut. 
So this did not come in its original packaging. That was one of the things that Tim had sent out, is they didn't have everything uh, unopened. Some of the stuff they opened for photos and everything. This was one of the things that they had opened. But again, the gear is still there. I don't really miss having the packaging. So that's everything that came in the box minus the supplement bar. So because I did the special request, Tim said that he would go through and he would find any extra things that they had in the box and he'd throw those in uh, as a replacement for the bar. Well, this is the extra stuff. The Cellox, an extra pack of Cellox, an extra Hemostop, and then an extra set of those VisiPad glow sticks, those glow markers. So I got three extra glow markers, an extra Steptic pin, and an extra Cellox. All because I sent in that email request. So I gotta tell you, this customer service is amazing. I am a huge fan. Uh, now I waited intentionally to do this review because I didn't want anything uh, to be tainted in my three month review. I didn't want them to find out who I was with my odd request and then get preferential or different treatment. And I know that sounds weird because I have so few subscribers at the time of making this video, but one of those subscribers is Spec Up Global. So thank you guys for subscribing. But I just wanted to make sure that my three month review didn't have anything, uh, any special privileges or anything like that. So that's why this took so long to come up onto the, onto the video because I'm going to wait to post this until after the, I get charged for the third month that I'm doing a review. But I got to tell you guys, he replied within a few hours. Uh, he was very uh, specific as to what he could do, and he went above and beyond what he said he would do. So he gave me the discount, he gave me everything in the box except for the uh, supplement bar from the Ukraine, and then he threw in a bunch of extra stuff. So thank you, Tim, for doing that. But also just thanks for being amazing with your customer service. <clears throat> you know, I've sent a couple other emails to him, and... I uh, had some brief conversations about uh, just odds and ends with stuff being uh, with stuff shipping and everything else like that, and they've been responsive and everything else. So Spec Ops Global right now, I got to tell you, ten out of ten as it stands for customer service. Uh, the first box was late, but they went above and beyond uh, in fixing that. In addition to going above and beyond with just making those discounts possible, they went further <laughs> and worked with me to get a discount on this. And in December, my box uh, had shipped, but the tracking uh, stopped. It wasn't tracking anymore. And I got an email asking if I had got my box because they were checking on the tracking. So customer service for Spec Ops Global, outstanding. 10 out of 10. I can't recommend their customer service enough. I'm really looking forward to the third box. Uh, and this, since this fell into the three-month review, I'm going to try not to factor it in, which is why I'm doing this separate video on their customer service because so far it's been outstanding. So really looking forward to for that third month's box. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I know this isn't a full review of this kit, but this was just to talk about how awesome that customer service was. So again, thank you Tim, and thank you Spec Ops, and thank you guys for watching.